I am a first generation Christian. I was raised in a small town, a small farming community with hardworking blue collar parents. We didn't go to church or necessarily talk about Jesus until I started getting older and then I started realizing that there was something missing inside of me that I just couldn't place. Jesus had been calling me and had been trying to get my attention, but I wasn't, I wasn't listening and I wasn't ready. I had an accident and it was in that moment that I realized that missing piece was Jesus. The whole time, my whole life, I was searching. It was Jesus I was looking for. The aftermath of that accident, I really just dove in head first and I never looked back. I didn't have a whole lot of reference on how to actually walk the life of a Christian. How do I find reputable, like good teachings? Because there's a lot out there that is not accurate. All right, you guys ready? Bot Radio Network. It's time now for the complete story. My sister in Christ introduced me to Bot Radio Network. So I tuned my radio into Bot Radio and I have never, never changed it. Through your broadcast, I have been able to learn and grow so much. And not only that, as I drive with my children in the car, they are learning and growing with me. That just makes my heart so incredibly happy because now, as a first generation Christian, I can see the second generations of blessings happening right before my eyes. There isn't a single broadcast that I've heard that I haven't enjoyed and haven't learned and grown in my spiritual walk with Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you so much for continuing to provide healthy, wonderful, amazing broadcasting. It's what our world really needs right now. Celebrating 61 years of broadcast service. BOT Radio Network's purpose is more important than ever to help strengthen your faith, strengthen your family, and strengthen your walk with the Lord by broadcasting quality Bible teaching, Christian news, and information 24-7. It began in Kansas City. Let me tell you the rest of that story. Pretty Shirley Patterson met handsome Dick Bott when he was a Bible college student in St. Paul. They dedicated themselves and their subsequent marriage to Christian service. That dedication led them uphill, a long, long way uphill. But with faith and patience and perspiration, eventually that uphill road led to ownership and management of this radio station where from sunrise to sunset, a wide spectrum of Christian broadcasts evangelizes this marketplace of two million people. Radio is a powerful and effective medium to spread the gospel with both reach and relationship. According to Nielsen, radio is the number one reach medium reaching 93% of the U.S. population. And according to the Radio Advertising Bureau, radio builds relationships, inspiring strong loyalty from its listeners who say that radio is central to their lives. Today, with more than 120 stations, Bot Radio Network harnesses the power of radio to spread the gospel. New stations this year include full power FM stations in Jonesboro, Arkansas, Pierre, South Dakota, and Ogallala, Nebraska. And we are launching six more next year. In addition, we are expanding our reach with innovative technology. Bot Radio Network is one of the first Christian radio networks to adopt connected car technology, providing more in-dash information to our listeners and the ability to listen to BRN across America in vehicles with connected car capability. BRN's mobile app for iPhone and Android makes it easy to listen wherever you go. We reach people at home on smart speakers like Amazon Echo, Apple HomePod, and Google Home. They also hear our format of quality Christian talk radio on iHeartRadio, TuneIn, and on TV apps like Roku and Apple TV. Each media platform allows us to reach more and more people across the nation and around the world. Here's Reverend Gary, a missionary and BRN listener in Spain. As a new Christian listening to J. Vernon McGee on the radio, 
the Lord called me to the mission field. Forty years later and still on the mission field, I continued to listen to the radio on the internet. The Christian preaching and teaching on bot radio is a real encouragement to me. Wherever I have gone in 59 countries and had access to the internet, I could listen to Alan Jackson, Tony Evans, and yes, J. Vernon McGee, amongst other favorites. Thank God for bot radio, leaping over boundaries of place and time while piercing the hearts of darkness. The Word of God is a sure foundation in a world of constant change. At Bot Radio Network, we're blessed to partner with some of the nation's finest Bible teachers as they boldly proclaim the truth of God's Word. We've been praying for a Great Awakening-style revival to sweep across our land and around the world, and we want Bot Radio Network to be part of it. The recent revival at Asbury University and other college campuses across the country is evidence that God is answering the prayers of His people. Together with our ministry partners, Bot Radio Network is committed to advancing the gospel in our generation. We're grateful for everything BRN has done to get the Word of God into the people of God. And Bot Radio Network have given us the privilege to partner with them and them with us. With a special broadcasting service that helps us provide biblical teaching to reach a broad audience of people throughout the United States. They've grown from one station in Kansas City to 120 stations across the country and around the world with the gospel message. I'm so grateful for Bot Radio Network. Thanks, you guys, for your dedicated service to Jesus and all of us. Bringing the gospel into the lives of people today at this hour is the most critical thing. And allowing that word to go forth with force, with power, and with conviction. Bot Radio Network has been broadcasting God's word, encouraging Christians, reaching out to the lost, and building believers up in their faith, but also witnessing to non-believers to the glory of God. Our mission is to encourage and educate from a biblical worldview to develop kingdom disciples who are visible, verbal representatives of our great God. It's an honor to stand with you in sharing the gospel with our generation. And Bot Radio makes that possible. We hosted pastor appreciation events in St. Louis, Oklahoma City, Nashville, and Memphis. Also in Memphis, we hosted a packed crowd at Ridgeway Baptist Church with David Barton of Wall Builders Live as our keynote speaker. Together with the Missouri Renewal Project, we helped sponsor pastor prayer gatherings in cities across Missouri, featuring former governor and U.S. Attorney General John Ashcroft. We welcome Franklin Graham to Omaha, Nebraska for the Assure Women's Center Imagine Banquet with Rich Bott as MC. And in Des Moines, Iowa, we welcome Dr. Tony Evans to the Family Leadership Summit. And in California, we welcome Dr. David Jeremiah to the Fresno Clovis Prayer Breakfast, where he spoke to an enthusiastic crowd of more than 2,000 people. Just before the Supreme Court Dobbs decision on abortion, we broadcast live Focus on the Families Sea Life 2022 on our BRN apps for mobile, Roku, and Apple TV. After the court overturned Roe v. Wade, we broadcast live Celebrating Dobbs, Celebrating Life with Tony Perkins and Jim Daly. We also aired the National Day of Prayer from Washington, D.C., linking prayer groups across the nation through our broadcast network. From Anaheim, California, we live stream SoCal Harvest, where Pastor Greg Laurie preached the gospel for two nights of incredible revival, resulting in over 8,600 decisions for Christ. From Asbury University, we live stream the Collegiate Day of Prayer, helping to spread the spirit of revival and awakening to college campuses across America. Our greatest joy is to proclaim the truth of the Bible, for faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. And we thank our many listeners who depend on Bot Radio Network to help them grow in the Lord and apply their faith in their daily lives. I grew up in a, a piece of home with a lot of drug abuse and, and violence and alcohol, and it wasn't long before I was involved with that stuff myself and I battled with it off and on through my adult life, uh, which led to me being on the streets of Fresno, and that led to me having a heart attack, which led to a blood clot in my heart and lungs, which 
almost killed me. And in 2018, the Lord revealed himself to me and I changed and I started reading my Bible. I started connecting. I started listening to the radio and I started hearing the sermons on by radio. I believe that God literally put that in front of me so that I could hear what he wants me to hear. And I was like, cool, I need this. I wanted to saturate myself with anything that had to do with God and Jesus. But these sermons, along with what I was reading in the Bible, it just started connecting. It just made sense to me. And all of a sudden I understood that Jesus is real. You know, this is real. My life is a miracle. What my radio, what they put out, I think it changes lots of people's lives. It's something that probably will be a part of my life until the day I die, as long as I'm able to get the station. Thank you, Bot Radio, for all the work you do. For over six decades, Bot Radio Network has kept that vision fresh. And with listeners on six continents, BRN is helping to fulfill the Great Commission by broadcasting the Word of God to the people of God in this generation.